Oh my god. The truth about Rando Nautica is actually scary. What the? What the? No! Oh my gosh. We just found a mine shaft. I come upon this box and it's got body parts in it. I'm telling you, there's something right there. There's a really big box right there. This is either a coincidence or this shit is crazy real. What if the sheriff's in on this? <laughs> Start playing this app, nothing, 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 and then BAM! Right there, like what the f a mind f right now. And then I start getting kind of paranoid, like, maybe they got me there just to, to kill me. What's up, everybody? My name's CJ Faison. I'm joined today in the middle of the desert. It's 115 degrees out. I'm joined by my buddy, Jazz. What's up, everybody? So, Randonautica. Y'all begged us to quit doing that at night, and we're gonna quit doing it at night for a little bit of time. <laughs> um, but we've got some haunted locations lined up. We're here on the West Coast. We're actually in Nevada right now. We've been hitting like some of these small ghost towns around the area. This is uh, an almost ghost town that we're at. So what we're doing today is playing the Rando Nautica app. Rando Nautica app. I can't even talk because it's so freaking hot. I'm sweating. Yeah. But uh, we've been doing this probably the wrong way. Um, as you saw the part one video, that was actually during the nighttime, pretty late at night. And uh, obviously someone planted a box there and I'm going off of my theory about this app. A lot of people have been asking me, what is your theory? What is your theory? My theory keeps on developing the more we do this app. So my theory is this, I think that it is an app that tracks your location and it has been in, I just feel like it's been too, I don't even know if it's a coincidence though. Okay. Like I don't think it's coincidental. Someone, I think it's on purpose. Like it leads people to Someone brought this up in my comments. They said, you don't understand how dangerous this is because clearly everything is logged. Everything is logged now. True. You see it, right? What would happen if a hacker, for example, hacked into this app, had access to everyone's logs, locations, etc., where they started their location? Some of them start from home. Think about it like that. That is true. Like that's one thing. If you're gonna do this app, do not do not download it at your house. Delete it before you get to your house. I don't even have it on my phone. Jazz has got it on his phone. But basically what we're gonna do, um, since we're pretty much in like a really weird ghost town, third world country type feel to it, um, we're gonna go ahead and start this video. And uh, Jazz is gonna do it right off the app on his phone. But again, like I'm still forming my theory, but I think that this is something that is set up. I, I truly think that there is someone behind all of this and there's gotta be a reason, and I keep searching for that reason every single video I've done. So if you all like these Rando Nautica apps, please comment below, let me know, it means the world to me. Thank you for the love and support, now let's get going. So this behind me real quick, this scenery is absolutely amazing, and this town is pretty much abandoned. So what I wanna do is uh, basically say thank you all so much for supporting me and my channel here. I wanna take a real brief second to thank everybody who purchased some of the shopmotivated.com merch. If you're wanting some of the merch and you wanna shout out in this video or in the next video coming up, go to shopmotivated.com. I'm gonna read off the list right now. Real quick, before we get into this video, I just wanna give a couple of shout outs to everyone who ordered merch the past few days. So if you don't know, the brand shopmotivated.com, that is me. I actually sign and autograph every single one of your orders. The first order is going out to Kylie from Australia, Nicole from Oklahoma, Michael from Delaware, Daniela from Washington, Washington, Sarah from Minnesota, Christine from North Carolina, Brenda from Indiana, Rebecca from Ohio, Gina from New York, Carolyn from Florida, Kelsey from Indiana, Pamela from Connecticut, Sandra from Texas, Emma from Australia, Melissa from Greenwood, Delaware, Phyllis from California, Nathan from Arkansas, Amy from Texas, Sandy from Texas, Amanda from Canada, Will from Indiana, Candace from Kansas, Rebecca from Pennsylvania, Anna from New Mexico, Donna from Illinois, Wanda from Florida, all right, so thank you all so very much. Don't forget we have masks, we have hats, we've got shirts, sunglasses, a little bit of everything. So go to shopmotivated.com to get yours. Use my promo code CJFacen at checkout. Now back to the video. All right, so I'm gonna pull up Rando Nautica right now and here we are with the app. Now, well, it's taking a really long time to load. Okay, probably because we're in bump Egypt. 
<laughs> oh, this is crazy out here, dude. This is so sick, though. It is pretty sick. This is priceless. I really, like, this is amazing. I'm but, taking it all in. Like, people who live out west, like, you guys don't know how, like, lucky y'all really are. <laughs> truly, truly. All right, so where's this first place at? Let's see this. Okay, here's our location. So you want to do void again. Yep. We're going to do void to get our most negative experience. Okay, I've got something thought in my head. You got something? Yeah, okay. I'm manifesting. Sounds good. So you manifest that. Don't tell me. That sounds really weird. All right, so finding a location, focus on your intent. And here we are with our first... There's a car. I know, slowly rolling up. As soon yeah. as you break the app out, there's a car now pulling up. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but... If they turn over here, dude. Uh, they stopped. Um. All right. Ow. CJ. Are they turning? Oh. What? The? What are they doing? That's really like suspicious. Especially right after you started up the app. This is what I'm talking about. Like I, I, in my opinion, I think the app has a little something to do with people being followed or like, uh, that's actually every rando nautical video I've watched, like people are followed every time. I, I don't know. Yeah, Could be just because they're acting suspicious and driving around in like really strange places where people might not normally drive. Yeah. Hundred percent. I don't know. Oh, it's hot as a bitch. Oh, air, please. I don't think y'all understand how hot it is. Like you just get out and it's like drains the energy right out of you. Whoo! So Jazz is um. Jazz is outside right now. He's uh. Guess uh, talking to his camera, getting a location. <laughs> look, look at him. <laughs> I'm drawing too much attention to us. Oh, geez. All right, so we're back in the car, and I have our first location right here, and. It's a void radius 141 meters, power 2.56, z-score negative 430, whatever that means. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Statistics. <laughs> what the hell? Alrighty, here we go. Um, it's, lo oh. it's loading, and it's... Whoa. Look at that. We're going to have to park our car and walk. Mm. You cool with that? Directions end at the closest road to destination. Are you cool with parking the car and walking? I mean, sure. Do we go straight that way or that way? Well, let's see. Oops. Go. Um, so it looks like we go that way. Straight, right? Yeah. No, we go backwards. No. We gotta go backwards. Woo! Oh, my phone's on 20% battery. Is it really? And I'm rando nodding. <laughs> nice. Rando not for life. Rando nautica, baby. How far do we have to go? It's cooler, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Our cooler back there is uh extremely loud. Yeah, a little bit. All right. It's a very rocky path as well, so I'm gonna pause for until we get closer. You're gonna pause? Probably, yeah, it's gonna take us a while. Yeah, it's gonna take us a while, so I'm gonna put my camera down as well. All right, so we are right here at the spot where we're supposed to be. We're close, at least. And it's telling us we need to go through them gates over there. And I got news for you, dude. I'm not doing that. I'm not going on somebody's property. Not out here in the sticks, dude. They could bury our ass and never be found again. 
So the app is trying to tell us to go to that building. Way right there, that big building. Dude, look at this scenery though. Yeah, I'm gonna say that's a hard no from CJ. Yeah, I'm gonna get real close to it, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get close to the gate. Oh, look at this. Look at all this stuff out here, dude. So I wonder what this means, though. Okay, I don't know what this is. Looks cool. This app takes us to the weirdest places ever. Like, that's kind of why I'm at like a point with this. There's so many snake holes here. Okay. We'll walk around the snake holes. Oh, that's a way bigger snake hole. Um, like this app takes us to the strangest places. That's why I think like the word random, I definitely think is it, it, this is random places, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, these places are so weird. Like, I don't know. Like my buddy Omar, he actually, uh, his first ever Randonautica app took him to a house with like this skull and it was like bleeding out of its eyes in front of somebody's like actual house. So of course, like I respect people's property, I really do. Unless it's haunted, then I go in. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah, dude, a lock on the gate. It's that's a, a that, lock. that's a hard no for CJ and barbed wire. You were a NASCAR driver. We want me to drive. Listen. Curiosity is killing the cat here. I would love to know what's in there. Yo, they're probably staring at us through like one of the. I guarantee it. And they're like. The Tic Tackers. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. I think this is proving my theory that this app is trying to get us into trouble. It is trying to harm people. This is our point first taken of the day, right there. And it's Jazz brought up a really good point right there. That this this is uh, an app that I think it knows. Maybe this is one theory here, but I think it knows possibly where private property is and where private property isn't. And I think sometimes it takes you there to try and get you in trouble or get you hurt because it says no trespass, like, you know, uh, do not trespass on people's property when you first bring up the app. But it's almost like if it's telling you not to do it, you're gonna wanna do it because this app is telling you to do it. And and some kids that don't know any better, they're gonna do it. It's, they're not gonna listen to directions. Like they barely listen to their parents. Why would they listen to the directions? And what the hell is that? Some kind of pipe. Bitch, are you trying to get us killed? Don't beep the horn out here. Yo, open the trunk. I'm putting this in the trunk. Yeah, yeah, good idea. Good idea. Wait. But, but I mean, realistically, like, if this app is trying to get people, like, in trouble and hurt, kind of makes sense. Maybe that's, like, the plan of the app. I don't know. Comment below what you think right now before you continue watching. Jazz and I, we made a discovery. I was driving along and I see this over here. And I'm like, what the hell is this thing? I don't know what this is, but it's all roped off for some weird reason. Oh my gosh, this might be a mine shaft. Jazz! Please, for the love of me, no snakes, please. They always say, watch your step in the desert. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. We 
just found a mine shaft. Just found a mine shaft. This is this is crazy. This is like a real mine shaft right here. Dude, you'll never believe this. Wow. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Dude, yo, I have an idea. Throw a rock in there and see how long it takes to fall down. <laughs> There's a ladder right there. I'm, yeah, you're gonna go down that crickety ass thing? over there let's go check that out yeah, yeah. I've seen some really weird stuff before in my life but I haven't seen anything like that do you really want to be our neighbor <laughs> what? what in the world why would you write that on your picket fence do you really want to be our neighbor we're gonna get shot you wanna go ask why they put that there like tell them we're their new neighbors <laughs> yo uh, why do we not want to be your neighbor can you help us Hey, uh, we just moved in next door. <laughs> <laughs> um, just trying to say, uh, oh wow, you do not want to be my neighbor. He's got a really big sign right there. Oh my god. Wow. Why? Oh wow, look at that go kart. You do not want to be my neighbor. <laughs> this guy, he's crotchety. Yeah. Let's go by his house real quick. Let's just look. All right, he's doing some shady shit inside here because yeah, you can't even this. get in there. He has a fortress. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Shit. This has to be a meth lab, bro. <laughs> the only logical explanation. <laughs> Might be. It has to be. Might be. Lab. You played GTA before. Yeah, this, this is where they had him. Looks like the map. Yeah. Okay, so going to the next location. And we're trying to. Trying. There's clearly an issue with the random not a cab. So. See, that's like what freaks me out. I'm like, okay, what if it's trying to track us right now? Like it's trying really hard. Yeah, like it's trying to, like we're, we're kind of in like a weird reception area where, I mean, it's not the greatest reception, I'll say that, but, um, and that's why I think there's more to the app. I think it's something that is trying to track you or someone trying to track you. That's my opinion right now. Is it still loading? Kill the app and start Dude, it again. The app is still, yeah, I'm gonna kill it. But like we were saying, um, in regards to like following and tracking and stuff like that, it's doing it. Oh, there we go, we got it. So we got it. I just wanna say like, you gotta think about it. This is a worldwide app. You know, people yep. are using this app around the world and every single second is just shooting a location. And huh. the owner of the app is supposedly doing, like, what is he trying to do, a reality show? He's or? trying to do a reality show. So like, they're uh, they're casting for a reality show, the owner of the app. We just found this out like yeah. less than 10 minutes ago. Less than 10 minutes ago. So I don't know what that really means. We got more news coming, I guess, because uh, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. It doesn't at all. So we had a black car that was following us randomly. Um, it was in the distance but like when we would be going down like one of these roads because we stopped to grab a drink at uh, the general store up here um we were we were going down the streets and they were like staying side by side with us but they were like one street over yeah. so that was a little weird but we don't know where that is now there it is right there it's that black that's car it, that's it all right i'm gonna try to dude open. what in the hell is going on with this dude Okay. Uh, go ahead and start the app. Let's get out of here, and I'm gonna keep an eye out for that guy. All right. So here we are with the app. I'm gonna go ahead and nicely start this. I'm gonna type it in real quick. Okay. So CJ's gonna type his intent in on his phone, and then he's gonna manifest it. We're gonna manifest it together, and yeah, we'll see. There's a sheriff. Oh damn. Sheriff right there. 
All right, you want to look at it? There it is. All right, let me make sure that um, focuses. Yeah, mine definitely didn't either. I think when it's far away, it does. Yeah. All right, so intent is that right there. All right. Cool. So it says right here, hold on. I don't think I've ever seen those before. I might be missing it. Look at this. You currently have five points. One point is consumed every time you generate a location. Your balance will be refilled for free up to a maximum of 10 points each day you open the app. What? They're trying to make money now. Yeah. They're like, they're, they are convincing everybody to download the app and then gonna have you have to pay for more Microtransactions. They're gonna yeah, be like, exactly. oh, you want 10 more locations, two ninety nine. Yeah. Stupid. All right, let's do one more. Let's see what All this, right. this takes us. So let me share my location. All right, so I just shared my location and we're gonna do void for our negative experiences because, and then Anu. Anu. Okay, focus on your intent, CJ. Okay, I'm focusing in. I have uh, maybe an updated theory on this. Oh, I gotta hear this. <laughs> I gotta hear From this. what that thing just said, okay, I'm a businessman, and if I was a businessman and I had the uh, ability to create an app and make it go viral somehow, and for everyone to download it, and then all of a sudden, it's gonna tell you that you need to add more points to get more locations, that to me is pretty pretty sketchy yeah that's that's actually like a um i gotta give them credit where credit's due that's kind of cool yeah where am i supposed to go and 0.4 miles take a slight left turn now let me show that as well and point what 0.3 miles take a slight left turn where's it wants to turn into the billboard up here what the hell <laughs> what in the world where's that there's a road? There's a cemetery left. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Way. No, dude. That's cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> okay. Is it? Are it you is. for sure? Oh yes. no shit. Oh well, let's just pull in front of this guy. Was that the sheriff? No, it's not that good. Okay. Good call. Alright, where are we supposed to stop here? What's that say? Uh, no, we can no. keep going. Okay. Can we go through this? Oh yeah, gates uh, are open. Well, that's the sheriff waiting for us right there. Is he? Yeah. Put your camera down. I'm not putting it down. I was going to say. Howdy, Sheriff. He don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, y'all boys have fun. <laughs> <laughs> y'all out there hope, hunting ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> these damn tic tackers. <laughs> them damn tic tackers out there doing them little dances on these grave sites up there. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Them damn tick tackers. Where are we supposed to go? I have no idea. And point two miles take a slight right turn. Point two miles. What's the one? And now it wants to go us in the ditch. Yeah, it literally looks like we're going in like a ditch. What? Maybe oh. he's out here looking for a body or something. Who knows? In a ditch. Well, this is the only like. What if he's here. playing the game too? What if he's doing the app? What if, <laughs> no. What? What if he just placed something? Oh because, no! Yo, yo, shit! No, 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 hold on, hold on. Like all stuff aside, like let, let's. Oh. Yo, yo, wait, where is he at? Okay, Jazz, that 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 is a super valid point. Yo, no, 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 listen, listen. We showed the sheriff drive by the second I started the Randall Nautica. Oh yes, yes, and he's headed this way. What the f was he doing out here? Oh my god! I got chills, y'all. Where did he go? He's gone, dude. Yeah, he was. He was driving this way. He come, comes in here. Damn, I was like, I was drunk. Shit, slippery when wet or dry. Um, I'd rather it be wet. Um, what if the sheriff's in on this? Like, oh, what if a sheriff? What if like the police in every town are in on this? And this is a way for them to catch like people out of quarantine and all that kind of shit. I don't know. I, that's kind of a little far, but I'm just saying. What the hell? Yo, this is crazy. I cannot even getting, believe that. That actually makes like. The theories are getting crazy. 
scary sense right now. So oh my we're getting closer. This maybe doesn't mean that we're getting closer to finding out like the true like intentions of this app, but it is kind of a little bit weird. Um, there's some metal cans right here. Look at this. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Dude, look at all this stuff. There's like all kinds of metal and shit. Okay. Jazz might actually have a really good point. And now I'm, I'm speculating here. And speculating is, is sometimes dangerous. And I'm not going to doubt that one bit. But. Uh, Jazz. Where's that pinpoint at? This way or that way? Straight ahead? Okay. Hey, there's a big box out here. There's a really big box out here, yeah. And a lot of metal. I mean, a lot of metal. What in the world? Look at all this metal stuff. There's like metal cans. Paint cans, beer bottles. Uh, dude. I'm telling you there's something right there. There's a really big box right there. Look at all the metal cans and stuff. Like, where does this come from? Like, was this like a dump at one point? Or, there's your horse shit out here. All right, dude, I'm just saying if there's something in this. Oh, what the hell? Look at all the metal right out in front of us. See all the metal cans are everywhere out there. What is that? Look at all the metal cans, they're everywhere. Like for hundreds of feet. They're all over, they're scattered all over. All right, maybe there's something in the box. Oh wow, yeah, that's a really nice empty box we got there. We just got clickbaited by a box. All right, so we have to go that way? Yeah, we should okay. go back in the car or drive down. All right, hang on. I just want to like show everyone the amount of metal. It's everywhere around here. Holy shit, you see all of it? Oh my God. What the hell? Dude, this is crazy. Look at all the metal cans are like all right there. Look at all of these. That's all metal cans. That is not dirt, folks. Oh my gosh. All metal cans. This is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, random. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess the name is kind of fitting, huh? All right, so let's not let ADD take the best of us here. Let's go get back in the car and go to that pinpoint. Because I think that sheriff might have put something, dude. I mean, I'm, I'm again, I'm speculating, but everything's possible. Whoa! My what? God. What? 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 Oh what? Snake. Fuck you. Where? What do you mean? Fuck you. Where? Right over there in that, that bush. Nah. Yeah. You want to take a closer look? Where? Right in that bush. All right. That now. I'm. T I'm not fake. And I'm scared right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, this is crazy, dude. This is absolutely crazy. So we got to go that way. That's the whole cemetery up there, it looks like. Oh, man. Lovely. All right. You heard jazz. We got to go into the cemetery, apparently. Um, but on like a kind of a calming down note here, why was the sheriff out here? 
Like, what is he patrolling that for? I mean, there's nothing going on. There's, when I say this, I mean it. There's not shit going on in this town. Yeah, I want to. So he comes to a cemetery randomly right before we go to it. Not only that, but as soon as I turned on the app, he drove by us. Maybe 10, 15 seconds after you did. The second we start driving, we get here, he is coming out. Yep. All right. I'm telling you guys, there's something dark about this app, and we're going to get yep. to the bottom of this. I promise you that. All right. I promise Which, you that. We go straight. Why is... Uh-oh. Oh, oh door's your door's open. All right. I'm on. trying to make sure he's not coming in. Yeah. Coming in here. Let me pull out my phone. How close are we? Nah. Is it like the beginning of the cemetery? Is that what it's trying to tell us? We have 700 feet. 700? Yeah, so 700 more so feet. So we definitely got to go through these gates then. We have to go inside the cemetery, yeah. Damn. Hey, what does that sign say? Warning, water Dirt. unfit for human consumption. Okay. I don't know where there's water at in here. Son of a bitch! Uh, hopefully we don't get a flat tire. Oh my gosh, look, they keeping somebody caged in. Talk about trapping a spirit. What the hell is that about? Okay. This cemetery. Good gosh, look how big this cemetery is, dude. It oh stretches my goodness, way over yeah. there, too. Well, here, hold on. Quick little history lesson. This city right here had a minefield explosion, and a lot of people, unfortunately, passed due to this explosion. A lot of houses, everything was destroyed. So, this is a massive cemetery. How much further we got? Um, 400 feet. And then we gotta take a slight right turn. Where at? 400 feet? Yeah, just keep going straight, I guess. If you see anything out of the ordinary, just stop. Okay. That's a little out of the ordinary. Just two random gates that you could walk completely around. But all right. All right, dude. How close are we? 250 feet. Or it says on 100 feet, take a slight right turn. A slight right turn. Yeah, I guess right where that tree is. Right ahead of us. Okay, yeah, there's a road that runs right there. Right here. Huh? It's right here. No? Wait. You want to get on a walk? Wait, we got 70 feet? 70 feet, yeah. What the hell are we looking for? It's right here, right to the right of us. There's just two graves. Huh. Okay. What's that say? Kings of... Knights of... Oh, Knights of Pythias? Pythias. I was going to say Pythias. Maybe it is Pythias. Alright. It's just, uh. You wanna get out? Yeah, let's just see what's up. Alright. Man. Oh, wow. What that mean? Wait, what is that? Look at that. This could be a... What is that? But it was, it was like we had to park our car at the tree. And then, man, look at this. The whole family, they got this thing roped off. Like, I'm not seeing anything on the ground or anything obvious. There's flowers on these two great. What the? What the? What? No! What? Way! What? This either a coincidence? Or this shit is crazy f***ing real. What? That says Honeycut. Jack Honeycut. Oh my god, your form. I have chills on my arm right now. Oh my god. Wait. I don't know if it has any relation. Wait a second. I have no idea. Hold on, hold on. 
Guys, okay. that literally says Jack Honeycutt, born August 27th of 36, Washington County, Virginia, died February 2010 in Las Vegas, Nevada. CJ, where is your farm located? It's technically on the Virginia and Maryland line. I'm not sure if that, dude, I, I'm, I'm just saying this. I've seen like the name Honeycutt, but it has one T. This has two T's just like my farm. Just like my farm, dude. And this is Dol Dolores Honeycutt of 35, died in 16. I on it. That's their okay. Let me just put this out here. We are on the other side of the country, the other side of the country, playing in a random, almost gonna be soon ghost town. We start playing this app. Nothing, 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 and then bam! Right there. Like what the f a mind f right now? I don't even know how to explain that shit, dude. Wait a second. Wait Why? A second. CJ. CJ, who did you buy this farm from? It wasn't the Honeycutt family. It was from, um, shit. I don't want to say his name on camera because okay. he was real weird about that after I posted that video. Okay. I don't know who the, it was, he was not the original owner. So the he, guy you bought it from was not the original owner? No, but it was named the Honeycutt Farm. After Bef the original owner? No, the original owner named it Honeycutt. The Honeycutt Farm. Okay. Actually, like Honeycutt Family Farm is what it was. Then this guy bought it, not going to say his name. Again, I'm not trying to get jammed up like I did before, but... It is possible. I'm not saying that's them because I don't know the original owner's name. I really, truly don't. Do you think you could find out? Possibly, yeah. What was your intent? What was the intent of this random honeycutt? It was sinister. I showed you on the phone. It was sinister. And the honeycutt farm is nothing but sinister, dude. What the f***? There is no way we are across the country. We find a grave that has honeycutt on it that a damn app led us to. I don't even, it doesn't make any sense right now. That actually freaks me the f*** out. I'm not even gonna lie to you, dude. I'm sorry for cussing, but this is like, what the hell? How is this possible? How is this possible? I'm trying not to like freak out or anything right now, but that is weird. That, all right, listen, dude. We were trying, we weren't even, we were not even gonna even film in this town. We were riding through, we're like, you know what? Let's film here today. And we're random, we're filming throughout the whole town for half the day and then our next stop is uh, the honeycut grave i don't even know what to say right now man this is insane okay let's calm down for 10 seconds let me calm down for 10 seconds dude i'm freaking the out yeah. but okay realistically here think about this why did it lead us here why did it lead us here to this How, it's on your phone it's not on mine have you googled anything like with with honeycut or anything never you haven't looked at any of my honeycut videos or nothing? Never. Okay. Then how did it know to bring you to a grave? And it might be coincidence. It really might be. I'm just saying. There's no way. No. Stop the I don't know. Stop the coincidence. Everyone's like, this is a coincidence. There is no way that this is a coincidence anymore. Video after video after video. There's no such thing as continuous coincidence. But I don't get why. Okay. If it brought us here for a reason, what's the reason? Truly, what's the reason? I don't know. I wish I could tell you. This makes zero sense to me. I'm... I don't even know. I, I really don't even know, dude. Okay, that is crazy. Maybe there's like a sign around the grave. Maybe maybe we're getting a little too... I don't want to be disrespectful. I, I don't mean, either. No. Dolores... We, we do not Jack, mean any disrespect. No disrespect. We mean it. No disrespect at all. What's this rock in the bowl for? Okay, one other question. If you were born in, Wa or in Washington County, Virginia, okay? You're born in Virginia, you come out to Las Vegas, okay? Now Vegas, is two and a half hours in that direction and you die in Las Vegas where I'm assuming this person lived why are they buried here like where's the connection here 
and maybe I'm too excited and, and the wind is picking up right now, so I apologize if it's really windy, but where's the connection? And first off, why was the police officer back here? I don't know, the sheriff? I don't know, it's kind of a little strange to me too. All of this makes zero sense for me. I, I don't even know where to begin or even what to think. This is bizarre.